Alright, what's up everybody? Mo and Co Commentaries. My name is Mo and I'm back here with Paul. This isn't a pony game, but we're gonna keep on uh Hey wait a minute, this isn't ponies. What the fuck, Mo? I wanted to do something that wasn't ponies. I didn't like that last game. No, I didn't like it either. Oh but I don't think anybody uh <laughs> if if you sat through and you watched that game, hey, that's cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure like most bronies didn't like that either, but No I wanted to go and talk more Like about... I told you, like I told you. When you when you when you tell when you talk to a brony most you, of them you don't, don't talk, talk about you don't talk about Generation Three. Yeah. No one talks about Generation Three. It just 3. Had, it, it was just too much for me. Like I, I couldn't I couldn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. So we decided to play another game, and I was trying to pick something with the campy theme. I realized that I wasted the I squandered the opportunity playing Yoshi Story with with uh, Fabi. So no Yoshi Story, but we all like uh, decided to play Banjo Kazooie uh, Banjo Tooie because. Uh, if anybody's fo been following the uh, follow the Real Mango Random channel, in case you have, I have any older fans out there, um, I've been talking about doing a Banjo Kazooie Let's Play, and I'm actually going to start doing that pretty damn soon. I just need to uh, I just need to go and grab the copy of Banjo Kazooie again, because I can probably like sp not speed run that, but I can probably beat that within about uh, eleven ish episodes. Mm. The long the longest part takes me is. Um, the one over in uh, what's it called? I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, after the it's after the ice one. It's the swamp. I 100% the swamp. 100% uh, the desert. 100%. Oh, uh, then there was the uh, there's another one afterwards. I'm trying to remember. I haven't fucking played that in forever. I haven't played it in forever, but I, like I really, really, I'm fondly in, like in love with that game. Hmm. The first one. Number two, I started playing again. I realized, and I mentioned before, that I'm not that not as big of a fan of it as I as I was. And there's still a lot of things I need to go and complete. Like I need to go and like uh, I need to see if I need to unlock any more uh, any more areas. And I also got to get a lot more jiggies. And uh... hey, cool! I got enough to unlock another world. But I I have enough jiggies to unlock. Uh, I need to go and learn more skills to actually help me in the next world because mm. I that's a whole bunch of things anyway Paul so I wanted to know oh well, here what's what's big and what's big in, in in the fandom like I want to understand like what's what's some do's and don'ts to talk about in fandom uh do's and don'ts to talk about in the fandom because uh. in every in everything there's always like do's and don'ts with anything like there's, sh like, there's stuff that you can't, that you can't talk about, like, that just, like, it's readily talked about, and stuff that's just not. Like, what, like, what, what is some things that are just, like, it's taboo, like, no matter what, you can't talk about it. Purple Tinker. I'm gonna get so much shit for just saying that. <laughs> you already said it, like, so Purple Tinker. Um. Like, elabor else? elaborate, who is, who is Purple Tinker? Like, like. Elaborate, elaborate to me who is Purple Tinker. Uh, Purple Tinker is... I think you've told me about this. You told me about this one before we started It's like a huge activist of gay, um, gay, straight, lesbian, transgender people. Uh-huh. Um, but goes about it like a weird way. Like, this is what I've been told. You know, no one's ever actually given me straightforward information. Uh-huh. But... No. I figured that didn't go there. There we go. It's a puzzle mo. No, I'm... it should, should it should be easy. They're all shaped the same. Yeah, they are. Anyways, <laughs> um, like like I said, I don't really know the whole the, thing about. You don't, you don't understand the whole story about Purple Tinker, but. But I know enough to not talk... to not talk about Purple Tinker. Okay. Um, some other do's and don'ts. Uh... This is really a hard one. I mean, I really. I mean, really, the only extent of the fandom I know is really towards Everfree Network. Okay. Oh, yeah. so there's do's and don'ts with your network. All right. I forgot what I... I didn't even know what I was unlocking. I was just like, puzzle. But, uh... Let's see what's under the blue tarp. Oh, it's not, well, it's not a tarp. Have you played this game before? No. Oh, okay. I, my, my extent is Banjo-Kazooie, and that was oh, okay. my cousin's when we were growing up. Okay, well, just to give you a little bit of... A little bit of knowledge. I'm gonna drop some fucking knowledge on you. <laughs> um... Who he is, he's, uh, his name is, uh, uh Lord Jiggy Wiggy. Mm -hmm. What he does, he opens up worlds because with the, with the power of Jiggies. That's like, like godlike currency. He's mm -hmm. just, he's not, he's essentially like a council, council member with a bunch of powers. 
Okay. And I'm just unlocking worlds by giving him jiggies and completing the puzzle in time. Hmm. I just released... I now realize where I, what I released was Hellfire Peak. Okay. Hellfire Peak is the... Uh, that's like the ice... Um, there was supposed to be an ice... Like an ice fire world in Banjo-Kazooie. I don't mm-hmm. know if you if you, you play the beat the whole game, watch the last credits. There was supposed to be like a fire ice world. That uh, that was that was got canceled out and then it got put into this game. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, basically this is your way of, of getting that fire ice world. And you have to go and complete it. You cool. go, you go, you finish the puzzle and now I got to... I have now. I'm able to go other places, but I need to go and do a bunch of stuff in this Dino World. I think I have to do a, quite a bit. Not a lot of stuff. I got to do like one or two things in Glitter Glutch Mine, hmm. which is like the. I'm trying to fucking remember what it is. Uh, Glitter Glutch Mine. So it's it's just a mine where there's a bunch of caves and such. Oh. And then burp. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So essentially, the main one you know about is Tinker, Purple Tinker. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, what was I gonna say? I've been I noticed that uh, I noticed like every every pony has the little what is it called? It's like a cutie mark. Cutie mark. There you go. Yeah, I like how you were able to find out with just my gestures. Um, so everybody, everyone has the cutie mark. Do you design that cutie mark yourself, or do you usually, or does it get given to you? Some people design it themselves Uh Uh, that's their oc original character Uh uh-huh um and there are some do's and don'ts with original characters one of the biggest ones Uh is i'm all like super interested right now so like no alicorns which is uh a pony that has a horn and wings okay so no no peg no pegasus like characters like you can't have one. you can have a pegasus character but you just can't have one that's an alicorn which is a horn and a wings at the same time. Okay, so so it can't be it can't be full unicorn. You can't go straight up full unicorn. Mm-hmm. You can go you can go tits and bits. You know you can like you know, you can have wings. You can have a horn, but you cannot have wings and horn. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. So it's, you're like it's very uh, it prohibits. Uh... Uh, it does. It's not. It's just frowned upon. Okay. In the community, it, you'll get so much crap if you come out with an alicorn, uh, OC. Uh huh. And then demonic, quote-unquote, air quotes, demonic-looking characters are another no-no. And then the biggest one that also goes with the with the demonic character is black and red. So it can't be black and red. What? Because it, because it's, it's gonna it'll symbol demonic. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But I went against the grain. I said, okay, I'm just gonna make a black and red OC. But mine's going to be so plain Jane and so Joe Schmo that it's going to be far from what people expect it to be. Uh-huh. And anyway, like, nobody frowned upon it? Everyone yeah, no one like, frowned upon it. No, but nobody, like, everyone's like, eh, whatever. Yep. <laughs> no backstory of how what you my parents abandoned me because I have demonic powers or crap like that. You were just like, I'm just a dude. I'm You're just like, a dude. I- I I am a bill. I am only a bill, and I come all the way from Capitol Hill. Like just that's that your your story was like the most like lame of backstory. Yep. All right, that's cool. And then like that was your way of just like trying to fight against the system to yep, see if you. Yep. That was it. pretty much just fighting, which basically being a brony is just fighting against the system, going against the status quo. Yeah, because you know you got your 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 males. No. Uh, there you go. Like your males uh, going against you know like the, the grain of what gender what you know gender identification would be like you know exactly. instead, instead of being you know I work at a, I work at an auto parts store you know that's what's expected of me because I'm a dude but know that like that doesn't mean I'm like I'm like alpha male and such you know mm-hmm. that, it 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 allows you to uh, to escape that that gender barrier sort of exactly so that's like that's that's cool and then you're fighting even more more uh, more gender biases yep. or more more character biases in this case. To, to do it. That's really neat. I like it. There you go. Like, I was wondering why it wouldn't let me switch. Uh, that's really cool. Like, like it, it's cool to know that, like, that there's like there's little ways around it. But watch, someone's just gonna flag your you're gonna someone's gonna flag that guy. You're like your guy is gonna be like this is bullshit, going against the rules and such. Rules uh-huh. of rules of ponies. You just be like, I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Because he's not because go, care. Because he's not cover story. He was uh, he's somebody else, right? Like, yeah, his name's uh. Remember I told you last time 
my original character and inventory was supposed to be Zadik. Yeah. Oh, that well, was I, Zadik. I, yeah, I kept my name. I kept that. You no, know, that's... There's OC and then there's personification, and Zadik is my personification. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Wait. Explain to me the difference between the two. Original character is something you create a... You know, you create a back... It's a different... Com it's a character... Oh, okay, hold on. I think I got it. Completely new character. Yeah. Personification is what you would be like if you were one. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I'm a bird. Fuck, I forget. You are not a very good bird. No, I forget. Kazooie has, like, no health. Oh. Kazooie has, like, like literally, like, no health. If I'm lucky... Oh, uh, it's not going to spit out anything. Damn. Um, crap, what was I going to say? But yeah, like, I, I get it now. So it's like, so the difference between the two would be like, that is you. That is 100% you. Mm hmm No, not, don't. No. Man, that was slow. Um, but yeah, all right, that's, so your personification would be, would be, what was it? What was it again? Zadik. Zadik. See, I'm like really horrible with names, so I'm going to be saying that way more throughout the series. <laughs> um... So and we have a mutual friend that's also a, what would what would they what is she called? Not a, like are female bronies still considered I, bronies or? Yes, they are actually. Um, if I believe there's, a, there's another word. Yeah, called I'm not. <laughs> what is peg, it called? It's called Pegasister. Pegasister. And go. not many girls like using that name. It sounds. It, it sounds like overly um, uh, very very overly feminine like i mean i'm not, I'm not like saying overly feminine but it's like almost like to a bitch like quality mm -hmm. so i no, got but um at the same time you know oh, if we're uh, if we're if we're all trying to challenge gender stereotypes why have two different words that mean, split our genders yeah that, that mean essentially the same thing exactly so oh, female bronies are just bronies all right that's why so uh, so female bronies are really just technically bronies but uh just females. Okay. Uh, if they choose to, they can use the alternate name. Uh, if they choose to. Not very, really, not mul not much of them do, but or do or do most of them. Or... There is one show on EFN called Pegasus Sisters Live. Okay, and they use that term. Mm-hmm. Okay, though. All right, like see, learning, learning, learning. Um. Like I mentioned before, I would like to go. I would like to go and watch you guys do like record like a, like a, like a show or an episode. Oh, we are recording soon. So I would like to go and at least just watch that so I can go find out. Because yeah, uh, we record an entire season in one day. No, yeah, yeah. You I, you told you mentioned to me before. I'm like, that's a lot of like, that's a lot of episodes. Look, your episodes are usually 20 minutes long. I don't know how long this is going. Okay, so it's 13 minutes right now. Most of my shows are gonna be like are usually around that same kind of. Uh, mm -hmm. That same gap, where it's like twenty minutes. How many uh, how many shows are in a season? Usually five. Five shows are in a season. One, one, one per presenter. That's like, that's what, the equivalent of, of like like two and a half hours of like recording. Yeah, about just about two and a half. Uh, that's like it's two and a half hours of recording. If you guys are just recording, just uh, one like a little bit here and a little bit there. Like, let's say you record 20 minutes, take a break, 20 minutes, regroup together, come up with ideas. That's mm -hmm. like, if we're, if, well, if you do that, that's actually going to be close to like three, four hours? Yeah, that's about, constant the, recording? That, that's about the time that Jeez. we spend. Yeah. Like, and this all, I get, this all started on a St. Patrick's Day last year. We decided to record all of season two in one shot. Oh, man. Like, to me, like, that's insane. Because I... I always get like tired and stressed out when I go and do like three, four, and three, four episodes, mm -hmm. like in a row. Like I do that, and I'm just like, "Geez, this is like a, I, I feel burnt out doing that much in in a row." Like Christ, that's like that is like that's mind numbing, or not really mind numbing, throat numbing. Like, do you guys do anything to uh to alleviate yourselves of uh? Of do of doing that like or well like cough drops like do you guys carry cough drops or do you guys have like uh, well before I used to be able to drink beer in our old recording studio and now <laughs> I can't what what what, what was it like? uh, after we changed venue yeah from one place to the other fuck um yeah. my Shit. fairy tales parents don't let me drink in their in their house so I'm like no it's just pure water now this is this is torture. <laughs> Almost was for a little bit. I was like, "Come on, man! I, 
I, I, perform I, I need the juice, man. <laughs> I need the I need the juice. I was like, I perform better when I drink. Oh man, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. How the hell did you jump out of the water like that? That was amazing. Oh, because I already started my jump. Oh okay. I already like started my jump before, so I was just like, eh. All right. Uh, you can fly. You can fly. I fucking. I like I. But, like, I like Kazooie when she just flies alone because she's, like, way faster. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me see if I can jump on top of it. I'm trying to see if this is how I'm supposed to do it. And then sit on it. I can't hear the music to this. To... <laughs> yeah! All right, so that is how I'm supposed to do it. I was wondering if I was supposed to catch it or what. All right. Go to mama. There's, like, four of them. Four of those eggs I gotta find. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know how to swim. She only no. knows how to swim it when she, like, ejects out of, uh, out of Banjo's back. So I now gotta find that little warp pad right there to go and get Banjo to fall and I can then find me because I don't know where the hell I'm at. Uh, <coughs> oh. But yeah. So, yeah, no, I, that's something I want to watch. Like, I would like to watch you guys record a season. Maybe, if not a season, I would like to see you guys record at least, like, a good, like, episode or two. Mm -hmm. Like, just to see the step-by-step. -step. When you guys... Okay. I guess the best way I can try and, like, try and wonder how it works. When you guys do record, like, together, do you guys record in, like, where it's, like, like this, where it's in conjunction side-by-side? -side? Or is it, like, where well, you spit your lines, he says his lines... And, like, you guys mash them up together. You guys cut and dye them together. Actually, no, what we do is, um, say we're doing, like, the opening of the show. Yeah. And there's maybe three characters. It could be me, Airwaves, and maybe Fairy Tail. Uh-huh. Um, what we'll do is, because we're set up on a four-channel mic. Uh -huh. two, uh, it's a two-mic system with a four-channel setup. Yep. And... I know what that is. What we... <laughs> It's no, just I mean, like, it's, it's, no, I, I seriously know what that is. I, I, I sounded like I didn't understand, but I actually do understand. <laughs> um, but so like what we do is we put, it, yeah. So just in case people get the, get the people. Uh, what it is is it's basically pure surround sound. The mics will pick up like a pin drop on a table. That's how. That's how the. That's how good the audio is. Yeah. Is it'll pick up the tiniest little movement, and you'll be able to hear it on headphones, speakers, what have you. Yeah. So what we do is we set them, we turn the mics up, so that way it gets pure. Maybe I shouldn't go. <laughs> I, I may, maybe I shouldn't go because I tend to like laugh. Like if something's funny. Oh yeah, no. If you, funny. if you if you laugh, Kinero will kick you. Uh, I get kicked Airway, out. Airways will kick you out. Hey, I'll, I'll I'll be out of there. Like the they'll just be like get the fuck out. I'm like okay, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I'm like okay. <laughs> okay, I'm out. You're screwing up recording. Like, like, we don't got enough time. Like it's like. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> but, no, okay, so, like, uh, like, so you got, how many takes does it usually take to do? Um, me sometimes, because I tend to talk a little faster when I'm reading the lines. Yeah. So, I'll As screw to, up, I, I feel like, like I feel lot. like everybody does. I'll screw up, you know, a, not a good amount of times. Not, like. I mean, not, like, to the point where, like, okay, Paul. Paul, get your shit together. <laughs> Look. We, we've been recording for the past two days. We've been we're really tired. We want to go home. And you got to get your shit together. Now, like, Paul, stop. Fuck! I didn't want that to happen. Oh, I got, like, hurt so much. Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah, so it's it's the recording is never like that. But yeah. usually uh, we could start at maybe 10 and maybe finish by 3. All right. On a good day, we'll get we'll get it all in about three hours. Okay, that's actually really like a, that's really really like not that not as bad as I thought. So on a good day, it's three hours. Mm -hmm. And but we'll have all six voice actors done, and then they're still like like how long does it usually take to edit the episodes? Um, I don't know because <laughs> I'm not part of that. No, I'm, I'm not part of because uh, Airwaves, the director, he yeah. does all the audio editing. Maybe we should get airwaves on here. Kind of like I, I hear I hear he's a, I hear he's a semi pleasant guy to be with. So like I would like to find out, but uh, okay. I'm always I'm always like interested just to find out like the recording process. Maybe have him airwaves. This is a shout out to you. You better like you better open up your schedule because I'm coming after you, <laughs> bitch. 
I guess. <laughs> Try to um, I like I hope that sounded like the least scaredest like the least toughest possible because totally was a gunner. Um But yeah, like it's like I'm always interested I I think I'm more interested in like your story. This is like gonna be like half ponies, half like geez, dude, like how did this happen? Okay. <laughs> no, I, I think uh, did you have you mentioned it before? Yeah, I, I mentioned how I got into it. Okay. But um as I'm go as I because I never really got to develop cover stories backstory like everyone else did yeah when because remember i got in you're only just a reporter pony and that's it yeah like that was that was your mo like yeah, like cover story didn't really have a backstory because exactly because everyone everyone was creating one you, i was still going to be like the stagehand character yeah before i became you're you're more than willing to have his cover story just be like a supporting character he was just he was just there doing his job and yeah he's I, 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 that's what I picked up mostly when I, when I would, when I would watch it, I'd be like, oh, you know, the, your character's just, it's, he's happy just to be a supporting role. He don't need, you don't need the fucking glitz and glamour of being, of being a, uh, like a lead character. So you never really had to develop a backstory. Exactly. So they're saying, my, uh, Fairy Tale, the writer was mm-hmm. saying, Kim, let's start developing cover story's backstory a little bit. I said, <laughs> all right. So <laughs> you're I, just like, all right. How the fuck do I start? <laughs> fuck. No, luck, luckily with him, um, he Threw has... a couple ideas there. Yep. So, okay, keep it going. Mo's eating right now. I'm eating these kale chips. My mama made these for me. <laughs> I'll give it. Fucking delicious. It's like, they're like the super saltiest of chips. Hmm. And they like crunch so well. Hold on. Let me just see if you can hear this. You can <laughs> hear it rustling in my hand here. Rest in peace, headphone users. It is the most delicious crunch. Because it's like, it's like crunching on glass if you've ever mm. done it. Don't recommend it, but it's alright. <laughs> Maybe sugar glass, but that's the extent. Sugar glass is fucking thick as fuck. <laughs> it's fun to chew, though. I'm sick of, that's like... That's literally like crunching on like the like you know like like a jawbreaker. Mm-hmm. It's like crunching on one of those flat. Mm. It's not very fucking great. It's like it sucks. It sounds great in theory, but it, like in all reality, it bites to all hell. Anyway, as we were talking about, so we started developing a backstory. I sit down with them, and we started coming up with different ideas. And one of the things was is. Uh, a pastime for cover story when he's not reporting is he's always stuck in an arcade. <laughs> All right. He's a video game player. Okay. Which is now which is now is fucking <laughs> now now is more concise because yep, it's true. Exactly. Even though technically you never played a video game on this channel, that's gonna change soon. But yeah, it will. I'll, uh, what what was the game you're telling me about? Uh, Just Cause Two. Mm, we'll get it. We will. We'll get it. It'll happen. So. So, cover um, story is, is a gamer. Cover story is a gamer, and then. But he's not. But he's not a classic. He's not a. Um, uh, he's not your typical gamer that just. Um, uh, he's not your typical gamer that's. Um, uh, what's it called? That he he plays like modern warfare. And like, no, he plays arcade games. Yeah, exactly arcade games, and. The backstory of where I came from didn't happen until. I want to say. December? Maybe January? No, it was February. February. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Because it was towards the end of the third season that I got this idea. Because I, I heard a name in the show called Mustania. And for cover story, and you haven't heard this one yet, Mo. Oh, I've, uh... He has a evangelist type of uh, voice. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a southern evangelist type of voice type of thing. And. One of the characters on My Little Pony had that type of voice and was from a, a, a town called Mustania. Uh-huh. I said, holy crap. I know where cover story comes from now. Uh-huh. So now he's coming, holy crap, a T-Rex. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm the biggest and the baddest. Anyways, so cover story comes from a town called Mustania and... The way he discovered his uh, talent, which is how he got his cutie mark, 
was that as a child growing up, uh-huh. he was part of a, uh, his parents were part of a group called the Speakers of the Sun, which is kind of like a, if you would think, um, like a Jesus freak type of group. Yeah. They praise uh, Princess Celestia, which is why they're called the Speakers of the Sun. Okay. And they're kind of like misguided views, types of uh, ways and all that. Yeah. So, as a kid growing up, uh, huh? someone comes up to him and says, Oh, well, what about Princess Luna? And starts going off about Princess Luna. So, cover story... As his father gets beaten yeah. and goes on a little journey to go find out what other ponies think about Luna and Celestia and starts comparing the two. Yeah. Through that, he starts finding out that finding the truth is his one true talent. Yeah. And subsequently, that's how he becomes a reporter. That's really, that's, that's really good. I like it. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's, that's like I, I wouldn't have been able to think about that. I just, like that's like that's a lot of like thought to put into a backstory like that. Actually, that all came from fairy tale. He wrote that. Um, we were supposed to do like a, a meet the ponies type of thing. Uh, it just mm-hmm. never came. Just never came to, because it was. Too much work having to write everyone's backstory on an interview-based type of thing. No, yeah. So, he only wrote mine, his, and hardcovers. Okay. I mean, because, like, it, it seems like it'd be a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. So, that's how my character's backstory came into play. And everyone else just kind of wrote theirs in. Yeah. So, that's pretty much how cover story... Oh, and I forgot. He's a comic book. He's like an avid comic book reader. So he's into the, into the comic books? Mm-hmm. That's why he presents comics and art instead of fan fictions and sto- and music. Oh, okay. Uh, damn it. See, like, I'm learning, like, a bunch just about that. And it's, like, it's, it's still really crazy because you're still, like, to me, like, you're still high school Paul. <laughs> Alright, what time is it? Oh, we're getting in 30 minutes and... Holy ah, crap, 30 minutes, really? Yeah. Time yeah. flies when you're not really doing anything. Yep. So, thank you, Paul, for coming in again. Next time, we're probably actually going to play a for real video game. Yep. Not just me dicking around the controller. Probably <laughs> actually either have you play something something akin to this or something. God damn it. Too big and clunky. Um... <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Put in, put it in the comments. Put it like anything you want to ask Paul. If there is anything you want to ask him, um, go ahead and let me know. I'm actually gonna maybe see if we can get another guest. Also, see if we can get anybody on. Mm-hmm. But huh? If you guys have any questions, my Twitter account will be in the comments. Um, It'll be in the comments. Hit be me in the up description, there. Be in everything. If you're interested in KPNY, I'll send you a link. And. Everyone else is on Twitter too, so follow me. Follow me on Twitter. Follow follow me on Facebook. I I'm more than willing to have you guys go ahead and follow me on Facebook. I like that. Hmm. I like I like I like that you know what I do and who I am, <laughs> even though I'm not that great of a person. I'm eating fucking candy and crap and all this other stuff. See you guys later. <laughs>